Hey, welcome to the Cobb Short Shift Plate Install Guide for the Focus ST. Your kit should have everything pictured here, including the Loctite. You'll need an 8 and 10 millimeter socket and ratchet, flathead, pliers, 10 millimeter wrench, the included 2.5 and 3 millimeter hex keys, hammer, and a sharpie. Start with the hood open. Loosen, but don't remove the four 8mm bolts securing the airbox lid. Remove the airbox lid. Remove the filter element by just lifting it out. Gently remove the engine cover. Remove the 10 mm bolt securing the intake midsection. Loosen the intake clamp. Pro tip, remove the battery cover for better access to the clamp. Carefully loosen the intake clamp, but don't let the screwdriver touch the battery. Remove the intake midsection. Release the intake seal clasp. Then disconnect the intake sensor harness. Remove the lower air box by pulling up to free it. Use a sharpie to mark the position of the shift weight as you'll need to realign it later. If you don't mark it, it'll be hard to realign. Now use the included bolt to tap out the roll pin. Use pliers to hold the bolt as you tap out the pin. We found a vice grips works best for this. Pop the shift linkage off the ball socket using a flathead. Remove the shift weight. Mount the Cobb shift plate over the ball of the OEM shift weight. Seat the Cobb backplate. Install two 3mm hex screws to secure the backplate. Be sure to apply Loctite to the hex screws before installing them. Tighten the 2.5 mm set screw. If you want a 30% reduction in shift distance, use the hole closest to the ball joint. For 40%, use the other hole. Apply Loctite, then thread the ball joint into the socket. Then use a 10 mm wrench to tighten the ball joint down securely. Now seat the shift weight, being sure to realign it. The shift weight must be flush and aligned. Now hammer the roll pin back into place.
Now pop the shift linkage back onto the ball joint. Seat the lower air box by pressing it back into place. Secure the intake seal clasp. Then reconnect the intake sensor harness. Reinstall the intake's midsection. Now reinstall the 10mm bolt that secures it. Tighten the two intake clamps. Again, be careful not to touch the battery. Reinstall the filter element. Be sure the filter is behind the lipped edge of the airbox for a proper seal. Replace the battery cover. Seat the upper airbox lid. Tighten the four 8mm bolts. Check that the airbox is secure. And then last, replace the engine cover. Now just close the hood and you're ready to drive. With your new shift plate, you'll enjoy firmer, shorter shift rows and better feel and feedback when shifting. Check back soon for more Cobb installs.